Hello and welcome. To solve this equation, let us begin with the expansion of x plus x to the power minus 1 raised to the power 3. Now recall that when we have a plus b to the power 3, we can expand this as a cubed plus 3a squared times b plus 3a times b squared plus b cubed. Hence, to expand this, we have that x plus x to the power minus 1 raised to the power 3 is equal to x cubed plus 3 times x squared multiplied by x to the power minus 1 plus 3 times x multiplied by x to the power minus 2 plus x to the power minus 3. Now, collecting like terms, we have that this is equal to x to the power 3 plus x to the power minus 3 plus, we have 3 here and we have 3 here, so we can factorize. And when we do that, we have x squared multiplied by x to the power minus 1 plus x multiplied by x to the power minus 2. Now, recall that when we have a to the power m multiplied by a to the power n that this is equal to a to the power m plus n so going by this we have that x plus x to the power minus one raised to the power three is equal to x to the power three plus x to the power minus three plus three into here we have two minus one which is equal to 1 plus here we have 1 minus 2 which is equal to minus 1. Now the next thing we do is to subtract this quantity from both sides of this equation and when we do that we have x plus x to the power minus 1 raised to the power 3 minus 3 multiplied by x you can just write x plus x to the power minus 1 is equal to x cubed plus x raised to the power minus 3. Now you can see that we can replace this, which is exactly this, as this. So what we do is let x plus x to the power minus 1 be equal to u. So from this line, we have that u cubed minus 3u is equal to, remember this has been replaced with this. So this is going to be equal to 1, 1, 0. And from here we have that u cubed minus 3u minus 1, 1, 0 is equal to 0. So now we have a cubic equation which we can solve for values of u. To solve this equation, let us use the trial and error method. Now we know that the factors of 1, 1, 0 are 2, 5, and 11. So let us try 5. When we substitute 5 for u in this equation, we have 5 cubed minus 3 multiplied by 5 minus 1, 1, 0. Let us see if this is going to give us 0. 5 cubed is 125. 3 times 5 is 15. We have 125 minus 15 minus 110 is minus 125. And of course, 125 minus 125 is equal to 0. So now we have found that u is equal to 5 is a solution to this equation. And hence, u minus 5 is a factor of this equation. Now to find the other factor, what we do is to divide this polynomial by u minus 5. And to do that, we are going to use the synthetic division method. The coefficient of u cubed is 1. The coefficient of u squared is 0 because of course we don't have a u squared term in this equation. The coefficient of u is minus 3. 
and the constant term is minus one one zero of course here we have five we bring down one five times one is five zero plus five is five five times five is 25 minus 3 plus 25 is 22 5 times 22 is 110 minus 110 plus 110 is 0 so we have that u to the power 3 minus 3u minus 110 is equal to u minus 5 multiplied by u squared plus 5u plus 22. So now we try and solve this equation for the other values of u that satisfy this equation. But first of all, let us see if this equation has any real roots. And of course, when we want to check the nature of the roots of a quadratic equation, we use the discriminant, which is b squared minus 4ac. Of course, b is the coefficient of u, a is the coefficient of u squared, and c is the constant term. So for this quadratic equation, b squared minus 4ac is equal to, b is 5, so b squared is going to be 25 minus 4, a is 1, and c is 22. So we have that b squared minus 4ac is going to be equal to 25 minus 4 times 22 is 88. And since this number is negative, we know that this equation has no real roots. So we know that 5 is the only real root of this equation. Now that we have found 5 to be the only real root of this equation, let us recall that u is equal to x plus x raised to power minus 1. So we have that this is equal to 5. Of course, this can be written as x plus 1 over x is equal to 5. Now, to get rid of this fraction, we multiply through by x. x times x is x squared. 1 over x times x is 1, and 5 times x is 5x. We are arranging this equation. We have x squared minus 5x plus 1 is equal to 0. So now we can solve this quadratic equation for values of x that satisfy this equation. We cannot factorize this equation, so let us solve by completing the squares. Since the coefficient of x squared is already 1, the next thing we do is to carry the constant term over to the right-hand side of the equation. When we do that, we have x squared minus 5x is equal to minus 1. Now, the next step is to add the square of half the coefficient of x to both sides of this equation. Now, the question is, what is the coefficient of x? It is minus 5. Half of it is this and we square so this is what we are going to add to both sides of this equation so we have x squared minus 5x plus minus 5 over 2 squared is equal to minus 1 plus minus 5 over 2 squared is 25 over 4. Now, this is a perfect square. So we have x minus 5 over 2 squared is equal to, we can write minus 1 as minus 4 over 4. So this becomes minus 4 over 4 plus 25 over 4. And of course, 25 minus 4 is 21 over 4. So we have x minus 5 over 2 squared is equal to 21 over 4. The next thing we do is to take square root of both sides of the equation. And when we do that, 
we have that x minus 5 over 2 is equal to plus or minus root 21 over 2 because 4 is a perfect square. Now we add 5 over 2 to both sides of the equation. When we do that, we have that x is equal to 5 plus or minus square root of 21 all over 2. So we have that the value of x, the real value of x that satisfies this equation, are uh, x equal to 5 plus root 21 over 2 or x equal to 5 minus root 21 over 2. And with that, we come to the end of today's exercise. Remember to leave a comment or subscribe if you enjoy the content. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.